Hello and welcome to Tribune Sports Live. I'm Zach Steele along with Scott Buttram. And Scott, another week is in the books. What stands out for you this week? Well, probably the continued dominance of Hewitt Trustful. Uh, Pinson Valley continues undefeated, and Clay Chalkville came back in a big, big way and made a statement. Springville still struggling a little still bit. Still struggling. That's not changing. And center point continues to get close, but not quite over the hump that they're trying to reach. Well, when we come back, we're going to talk about all these games, starting with Hewitt Trustful. We'll be back in just a moment. Trustful Vision Care is now proud to offer sports vision training for athletes. This sports-specific training improves hand-eye coordination and reaction time. As a former college athlete, Dr. Steele knows how important perfect vision is to succeed on the athletic field. For athletes, 2020 vision is not enough. Trustful Vision Care. I'm Kevin Sargent, Managing Broker of Brick Realty Trustful. If you're looking to buy or sell a home in the Trustful area, call one of our agents, a Brick Realty agent. Jefferson Memorial Funeral Home and Gardens is home owned and operated by the Seal family. I've known Eddie Seal and his son Adam for over 25 years. They're community oriented and more importantly, good folks who know how to take care of people in their time of need. That's how Jefferson Memorial became Trustful's funeral home and cemetery. Jefferson Memorial is located at 1591 Gadsden Highway. You can call them at 322-0543. Before your need arises, let Jefferson Memorial family take care of your family. Welcome back, and Scott, the Hewitt Huskies continue to roll. They dominate Buckhorn Friday yeah. night. They, they really did, and uh, Tyson is on again offensively. They, they put out a big night offensive. I'm going to keep bringing this up because I think down the road this could be a big factor. Gray Ryle again comes off the bench, steps in for Tyson, and shows a little different look. Had, two had one touchdown pass and should have had a second one. Ball ripped away from the receiver in the end zone. And he puts, uh, he puts the ball on the ground and runs well, too. That, that changeup could come in very, uh, ha very handy during the playoffs when, when Trussell starts facing some teams they haven't seen. And should anything happen to Tyson, and Lord, we hope nothing does, but should, it, should something happen, it's nice to know that's their, another plan to come off the bench and get things going. So I'm just impressed with everything the offense is doing. I'm impressed with what Tyson's doing, what these receivers are doing, what these running backs are doing. I'm super impressed with this offensive line, but I'm more and more impressed with the, de impressed with the depth I'm seeing on that side of the ball. Absolutely, and the defense looks good, too. Oh, my goodness. They have, uh, they have just started putting on a show and showing out a little bit. Um, Rudy Griffin has got to be thrilled with what he's seeing out of his group. He was a perfectionist as a player. He was a guy who played above his ability. He's got these guys playing a little above their ability. They're starting to reflect their coach's demeanor a little bit, and it's showing. And special teams have been solid for the second straight week. Absolutely. So they get out of region next week. They got homecoming. Poor center point has poor, to come in with injuries, and they got to take on yeah, it at home. Poor, poor center point. They, and they've been getting closer every week, as we mentioned in the introductory. But they're not going to get close this week. They're going to be the sacrificial lamb for the Hewitt Trustful Huskies as they uh, make their sacrifice to the uh, homecoming gods. Um, and we need to mention also that we'll be live streaming uh, the Hewitt Trustful Homecoming Parade. The Tribune will. That'll be on TrustfulTribune.com. That's on Thursday. It starts at 4 o'clock. We've been doing that for the last several years. Great for uh, grandparents and relatives and alumni that don't live in the area anymore. All right. Well, we, when we come back, we're going to talk about Pinson and their victory over Jasper last Friday night, but they had a key injury. We'll be back in just a moment. Wiggins Insurance is Birmingham's home for low-cost auto insurance. Their mission is to provide the best service in the industry by shopping multiple carriers at once for you. David and his team will help you understand the process, and they'll be there to answer questions. At Alabama Orthopedic Spine and Sports, we partner with you to create a comprehensive treatment plan and, if needed, the most advanced surgical options available. Alabama Orthopedic Spine and Sport, like having a doctor in the family. Paul Davis Emergency Services of Northeast Birmingham helps by providing needed cleanup and restoration services. Through the appropriate tools and processes, we avoid wasting valuable time to get your property to its previous state as quickly as we possibly can.
Welcome back. And Scott, Pinson Valley gets a big win over Jasper last Friday night, but Bo Nix goes down with an injury, and that's very important. It is, and it could be costly. Uh, Coach Nix told us after the game he didn't know how bad it was yet. They've probably got a handle on that at this point. We'll try to update that uh, in the Trustful Tribune as the week goes by and, and see how bad that injury is and what, uh, what the chances are that he'll be back for Friday night. But, you know, we talked about the Hewitt Trustful depth and the fact that they're really starting to show some deep strength, being able to bring in other guys off the bench on their offense. That was the case in Pinson Valley as well last week because Nix goes down after the second touchdown. That's pretty early in the game. And they come off the bench with Barry White. Can't get enough of your love, baby. Can't get enough. Can't get enough of Barry White. Well, Barry, Barry White comes in and plays very well. Played very well. Uh, Pinson winds up winning this game 35 0. Uh, no big surprise in the score. Right. Pinson's defense, we knew they were going to handle Jasper's right. offense. Next week is interesting because Shades Valley comes in, a program that's getting better and mm -hmm. better under David Partridge. And with a backup quarterback, Shades Valley's got a lot of talent on that offensive that's side right. of the ball. I saw them play earlier this year. Uh, they can score some points. They've got you know uh, Jeremiah Millington, the offensive coordinator. He can really dial right. up some plays. So this could be an interesting ball game. It, it could be a very interesting game. And, and all of these guys know each other. A lot of these coaches and, and some of these players know each other. And, you're right, Shades Valley's been improving. Uh, certainly strong ties on that coaching staff to the Trustful area. They're gonna be up for this Pinson game. They know how good Pinson is. And, and they know that this, is, this could be a statement game for the Shades Valley program. Now, that said, Pinson is not a group of pretenders and they haven't done this with smoke and mirrors. They are a get in your face and whip you on both sides of the ball football team. They have proven that week after week after week. It should still be a very good game Friday night. Absolutely. Well, when we come back, we're going to talk about Clay Chalkville and their victory over Centerpoint. Jefferson Title and Closing is committed to providing superior service in the field of closing services, title search, and title insurance. We are proud to join the trustful community and would like to say thank you for the warm welcome. Added Storage is the newest state-of-the-art storage facility for the trustful area. The first month is free, no contracts, easy move-ins, 24-hour access, and state-of-the-art security. Added storage is guaranteed to match or beat any price in the trustful area. Murdoch Tire, home of the $27.99 oil changes that includes free tire rotation. Also specializing in brake service, alignments, and new tire sales. Clay Chalkville got an easy 45-0 victory over Centerpoint Friday night. But, Scott, they did not play well offensively, and they had to rely on their defense and their special teams for touchdowns. They didn't, and I'm going to give Centerpoint a little bit of credit. Despite the 35 to nothing score, I think Centerpoint has been improving, and, and I think they improved again last week despite the score. But I think uh, Clay Chalkville lost focus. I, I think there were a lot of mental errors, and, and we kind of expected a bit of a letdown there and that that could happen. We were, I said it could be a trap game, but not one that they could lose, and, and that was – uh, that, I think that's what we saw, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Defense, special teams, played very, very well. I would, I would have to believe Coach Gilmer's happy with, with that side or those two aspects of the game. But he is not happy with the offense, and he's not happy with, lo with the loss of focus that they showed Friday night. Well, and, and it just kind of goes to show you when you're playing good defense and, and when you're strong on special teams and solid there, it goes a long way it really does. To, to taking care of opponents, you know, like center point, who's, you know, granted a lot of injuries right. for center point. Uh, Kevin Cole's out with a broken collarbone. He's one of their best playmakers. And, and so, uh, you know, it, it's one of these things where we expected this from Clay, especially you expected this from Clay. Um, and. You know, moving forward, I think they'll probably look at this as, as a teachable kind of ball game, a building moment. I think so. And, and Coach Gilmer's kind of shown that side of himself, is that they tend to show improvement from week to week in areas where they struggled uh, previously. So I think he'll get them moving in that direction. They're becoming a more complete team every week, and they're, and they're pretty darn good to start with. So it's all about the end of the season now and, and what kind of what kind of team you've got when the season wraps up and you're going to playoffs. So I think they're getting better and better uh, and, I, and I think Clay's got a great team. I really do. But it was disappointing a little bit to see that loss, folks. But they're, they're kids. This happens. Absolutely. High school kids. Now they, they step out and take on a 7A opponent next week in James Clemens. Now James Clemens not as good as they've been in the right. last couple of years. But it uh, still should be a challenge for Clay. It will be it will be a challenge because it is a 7A school. And, and while James Clemens this year is not the James Clemens of last year, 
Uh, I think it'll be a really good test for Clay. It could be a huge statement for Clay to go out and win that game. And I, and I think Clay is capable of going out and winning that game. All right, when we come back, we're going to talk about Springville. Uh, tough game against Curry the other night. They lose that one 21 7. We'll get uh, to that after the break. College Prep U provides families with an expert admissions guide throughout the college search, admissions, and financial aid process. Our dedicated experts help high school students identify their college goals and reach those goals. Lighting Concepts would like to thank the community for supporting their Black Star event where they gave away more than $20,000 in lighting fixtures and ceiling fans. Visit their showroom where you'll discover thousands of items featuring name brand designs and guaranteed to be helped with a friendly smile and great service. Remax Trustful is owned by Alan and Nancy Drinkard with more than 30 years of combined experience. The staff are experienced, knowledgeable, and dedicated to meeting your needs. When you choose a REMAX sales associate to help you buy or sell, you'll experience a whole new level of service. Welcome back. And Scott, Springville took on Curry Friday night. And again, like we talked about last week, it was, you know, the defense kept them in the game, but the offense just can't make plays. Right. And at this point, the Springville coaches have got to be looking for positives, and you know they are, and then building on or trying to build on those positives, and you know that's what they're trying to do. I, I'm not sure they're getting the response from the team they want to want to get. You're not going to beat anybody going backwards on offense, and Springville went backwards with negative 40 yards rushing for the night. You're just not going to get there. They jump out to a 7-0 lead, but then Curry just pounds them into the ground, stops them, and starts shoving them backwards. And, and there's going to have to be some positives that start showing up to turn this program around. My concern with Springville now is I'm not sure they're improving. Okay, yeah. forget the wins and losses. You're looking for improvement from week to week, and I'm not sure that's there. Yeah. Well, they're young, especially on they the are. offensive line. A lot of ninth and tenth graders playing on this offensive line. Right. Yeah, you know, and a lot of times ninth and tenth graders aren't strong enough, you know, to, to match up that's physically right. with big defensive lines. They haven't been in the weight room as long, so you know, it, it's one of these things where they're they're going to struggle in the trenches, right. and it showed Friday night. Against it, it really did show, and and it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't bode well for the remainder of the season. It's probably not going to get much easier next week. No, they take on Shelby County next week, a team that's 2-2 two and two coming in, so it's going to be another challenge for them. Right. All right, when we come back, we're going to have predictions for you. We'll go through all the games coming up Friday night. We'll be back in just a moment. Jefferson Memorial Funeral Home and Gardens is home-owned and operated by the Seal family. I've known Eddie Seal and his son Adam for over 25 years. They're community-oriented and, more importantly, good folks who know how to take care of people in their time of need. That's how Jefferson Memorial became Trustful's Funeral Home and Cemetery. Jefferson Memorial is located at 1591 Gadsden Highway. You can call them at 322-0543. Before your need arises, let Jefferson Memorial family take care of your family. Trustful Vision Care is now proud to offer sports vision training for athletes. This sports-specific training improves hand-eye coordination and reaction time. As a former college athlete, Dr. Steele knows how important perfect vision is to succeed on the athletic field. For athletes, 2020 vision is not enough. Trustful Vision Care. All right, welcome back. And Scott, it's prediction time. We'll start off with the easy one in this bunch. We'll, we'll go with... Uh, Hewitt hosting center point for homecoming. Yeah, that's uh, that's not going to be a ball game. There's going to be a lot of distractions for Hewitt Trussell. It's homecoming week. Uh, the parade's on um, Thursday. There'll be a dance, I guess, after the game and all the other home stu homecoming stuff that comes along. The kids dress up every day of the week. All the distractions that come along with homecoming, it's not going to help at all for center point. Hewitt is just going to beat them unmercifully. I've got it 44 to nothing. Hewitt uh, Trustful getting their second consecutive shutout. Well, I got Hewitt 56 nothing in this one. I just I don't see a way Center Point can keep them under 50 points. Hewitt, you know, Hewitt's probably their second team no. can probably dominate, you know, most of the you know the Center Point defense. So I, I just don't see that being a ball yeah. game at all. It, so if it stays under 50, it's because Josh chose to be under 50. Absolutely, and they they may have a hot clock in the second half like yeah. they did this past week against Buckhorn. That's so possible. Uh, Clay. 
hosting James Clemens. This one's interesting. Yeah, I, I think one of the two most interesting games we have coming up this week with uh, Clay Chalkville stepping up to take on some 7A competition in James Clemens. Um, I, I think this is a, a challenge, as I said earlier, could, could be a statement game for Clay Chalkville. Uh, anytime a 6A takes on a 7A, uh, the 6A has got nothing to lose. In this case, I think Clay Chalkville's just a better football team. And I've got uh, Clay Chalkville winning that game 17-13. to 13. I like Clay as well in this one a little bit more. I like Clay 28-10 in this one. So. Okay. All right. The most interesting probably of the week. Yeah. Shades Valley travels to Pinson Valley. Pinson Valley maybe without Bo Nix in this one. Right. Shades Valley a rising program getting better all the time. <laughs> Your thoughts on this one? Well, I agree with what you're saying. Shades Valley is an improving program. Pinson Valley has proven themselves, but has to continue to do that every single week to go uh, where, where Coach Patrick Nix wants to take this group. So I, I, Shades Valley is going to see this as their opportunity game, their statement game, so to speak, uh, to come out and, and beat an undefeated 6A uh, team this, this just right across the area from them, all uh, metro area teams. But I think Pinson Valley is just going to be a little too tough for Shades Valley, and I'm going with Pinson uh, 21 to 14. Uh, listen, I'm going to go with Pinson until Pinson proves to me I shouldn't go with them. I like your pick. <laughs> Not so fast, my friend. <laughs> I like Shades Valley to upset Pinson this week. Um, this is one of those trap games yep. we always talked about. They're stepping out of region. Pinson's probably thinking, well, it's Shades Valley, no big deal. But if Bo Nix can't play, mm -hmm. if Bo Nix is hampered by injury, it's going to hamper that run right. game that they have. I'm telling you, Shades Valley's got a lot of athletes and a very good quarterback over there. Okay. I like this one in a medium scoring game. I'll take... Shades Valley, 28-24 with the big upset. It could happen. All right. Springville at Shelby County. Your thoughts on that one? Well, this is another game, uh, Shelby County coming in at 2-2, two and two, that Springville should be able to improve a little bit. Show some, you know, don't worry about the winning and losing, okay? And, and I'm, I'm picking Shelby County because... Two and two is better than a team that, that hasn't won a game yet. I think what we're looking for out of Springville is let's see some improvement in, in any aspect of the game. Let's just start showing that you can compete. You, you mentioned earlier they're very young, they're small. That, that's a reality. That's not an excuse. I'm going to have to pick uh, Shelby County 20 to 8 because Springville's not going to be older by Friday night. But what I, really, what I really hope to see out of those guys is just some improvement, something that they can start building on emotionally. Well, I'm with you on this one. I think Shelby County's going to win this game. I think it's going to be pretty close. I, I, I think it's going to be 21-20, something, something in that line. So I think Springville's going to get close this week, but just not quite get over the hump. Okay. All right, that's our show for this week. We'll be back next week with more recaps. For Scott Buttram, I'm Zach Steele. So long, everybody.